skull, and shoulder bones. In this video lesson, you will discover what a proficient fine artist must know about the anatomy of the head and the shoulders in order to achieve a realistic portrait. As the model for this lesson, we will use a marble bust of the Emperor Antonius Pius. This bust dates back to 140 AD and is displayed in the British Museum, London. We will make a three-quarter view portrait. Let us begin with the skull. Above and below the eye line, there are two more horizontal lines. These marks will help us position the eye sockets into perspective with necessary precision. The eye socket further from the viewer is foreshortened and therefore appears to be slightly smaller than the one that is closer to us. The dental area of the skull possesses a barrel shape. Imagine that this volume is filled with a baseball or a tennis ball so that it appears rounded. The breastbone or sternum follows the same perspective as the shoulder axis. I easily measure this axis slope using a pencil. In the front, the second rib attaches between the manubrium of sternum and the body of sternum. The upper part of the arm bone is round like a golf ball and is called the head of humerus. This head sits inside of the joint that is a ball and socket connection.